the last issue of Grumman British News, we left the Austin A40, the round-the-world car, about to cross America, bound for New York. Here's the record-breaker's arrival in the great city after traveling nearly 3,000 miles across the American continent in 86 hours. But there's no time for sightseeing for the drivers who are competing against time for British car prestige. The last flight took the car from Montreal to Prestwick, Scotland. So, the last lap of the 30,000-mile journey to London. And at the Longbridge Works near Birmingham, congratulations from proud Austin employees. Journey's end as LOE 990 swings into London Airport, having completed its round-the-world journey in only 21 days, nine days ahead of schedule. The last rendezvous as the giant Skymaster, the car's nurse on the overland routes and its flying garage over the oceans, also comes home. And so this festival ambassador, which has carried the symbol of Britain's greatness through 16 countries, makes its way into the South Bank exhibition. Here, the men who made history were warmly acclaimed by Sir Gerald Barry, the Director General. Fitting indeed that this engineering triumph, carrying the festival symbol around the world, should take its place on South Bank, setting the standard for another century of British progress. <laughs>